happened, we, 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 we had sex, you know? And he told me that we'll do two rounds, so it will be like the time, okay? He will fetch me around 8 o'clock, then he will tell me by 12 we need to be done, then by 2 o'clock you need to be home. It went on, because it was supposed to be three months, then three months passed to like six months. I felt like now it was not like ending. And uh, he will give me tongues and tells me, okay, this is how you provoke um, the demons. If the demons they don't come out, you say these tongues. So um, I will say those tongues. And you know, when I get to church, everything that he would tell me, when I go and do it, yeah, I will do it and it will be done. Even though at some time I will feel the anointing, but the wave it will be coming in, it will be different to such an extent, Nami, I will be shocked. Then from the minute, sometimes when he enters, people will start falling. And sometimes when he ministers, people will fall, you know? When he starts singing, people will just fall, you know? There will be that atmosphere that is very charged up. To such an extent, people will just be putting on the status, yo, today's service was powerful. Then he will come and say to me, you saw how the service was. It's because of what we did. It was not stopping, you know, uh, until I think he saw that uh, I didn't really, he felt that I was not serious because he said, I always give you chances and cause, but I also feel that, yeah, you always give me chances, but I keep on doing the same thing. Like when, when is it ending? Why are you not keeping up to your word? Only to find out that already like there were other people that he was already like sleeping with. There was this young lady in church. I saw, because I knew how he, he draws people closer to him. You know, then she's, he said in, in the church that you see this young lady, there's something about her, you know. And she said at church, you must take care of her. He calls us, then I see the child is there, and the child is now living with him. Then he started telling us that um, there's something that he's doing with her like um, training her of some sort and this is for our benefits so we must protect her in the church so that when then he said to us at church when they ask us why they go together we should tell them that um, it's, uh, it's his younger sister they just found out that they share the same father so, so yeah so it went on like that we were not comfortable with it but the problem is we won't go and face him and say, but that is wrong, you know. We'll just say it among ourselves, but uh, now we don't understand what is going on. There will be a spirit of a man that will be manifesting through her. The man that only speaks English, and telling me that I almost died. They protected me. Why am I not close with the man of God anymore? And yeah, I needed to take a thousand rand seed so that, you know, to renew a covenant in a way. Then I didn't have the money, but I had to look for the money to get it so that um, I will fix things. Because now the way that whatever that spirit will, will be saying, it's like you want to die, you will die. And we'll be scared. He gave me water and said when I bath, I should put that water inside, um, like, in, like, you know, in the Kovaskomo. I poured water and I poured that water and mix it and I bathed with it. Then after I bathed with it, I, I got like abdominal pains. They were very painful. Then the following day I went to work, but I couldn't, I couldn't work. He came to fetch me and took me to a doctor. Then when we got there, then they scanned and they found out that it was fibroids. Uh, every time he will always change, tell me it's a spiritual thing. Then afterwards, when I'll be in pain, he will tell me go to the hospital. Then I'll go to the hospital. Then 
they gave me a lot of pills to drink you tell me that no I'm gonna deal with it I'm waiting for this other man of God I spoke to that man of God and told him yeah, your situation we are busy fixing but it was never fixed I was told that now every time when the man of God comes, I must sing. I must be the one singing. So if he will be coming, even if someone else was singing, when he reaches the, the church premises, I must start singing. And I must also be conscious of what is happening. Like I should see, like the way it was, I, I was supposed to see things. So sometimes, yes, I'll see like a smoke and every time, even if there is a smoke, that angel, wherever she will be sitting, she will move. Maybe go at the back, like at the back, like next to the door, the exit, she will be standing there. Sometimes she, if that smoke appears, she will move, maybe come behind the man of God. Sometimes she will move and come to the other corner. So sometimes I will see like a garment, a white garment behind like the man of God. So every time after the service, they will ask me, what did you see? So I'll tell, okay, today I saw this. Today I saw a crown. Sometimes I'll just see a chair. And yeah, then this other time we were in a car. Then they said they want, they, they want to show me what he looks like, you know, because we called him. They said he's a lion of East Rand, you know. Then they said they want to show me what he looks like. And when I looked at him, like he, he was a lion like he, like when i looked at him like i could see this is a lion you know and the other times um i would see like something like a creature it would be like as if it's a horse but it's got like a face of a person and the, the, those things are surrounding him he's sitting in like in a in a chair then when i explain it to them they will tell me that those are his creatures those are things that protects him i was given like it's it was it was water mixed with oil and you know um salt like salt so that yeah yes then i was told to put it on the window the entrance of my when you get into my <laughs> place then uh, when you go to the bathroom when you go to the bedroom i was told to do that i was feeling frustrated financially things were not going accordingly and yeah the attention that i was given i was no longer given because everything revolved around him but he was no longer there then uh, when he came with the angel i told the angel how i feel and i feel like certain responsibilities can be lifted off me you know and then um, I told the angel what happened, things, promises that he made, you know. And then the angel told me that, no, don't worry, um, everything is going to be all right. Then he calls him in and say he must pray for me for strength. Then sun, Saturday when I went, we had like a service, when I went for a women's service, everything was just changed. I could feel from leaving the place that something was wrong, but I couldn't really know what was wrong, you know. After the service, we were just sitting, talking, I was telling them that, guys, I'm very discouraged, and I think the only thing that makes me to come to church is maybe the love that he gave me. He became a father to me. That's the only thing that pushes me to come. If it was not that, I was going to go, you know. And I'm even saying to them, Mina, if I can be given a chance to be released, how I would really go? Then they're like, I'm like, yeah, being released without any threats to say, no, just go, you know, I'll do that. Then afterwards, we went to his place. Then afterwards, he calls me and say that um, the reason I called it is because I'm releasing you to go live the life that you want to live. From that moment, I was just crying. I took my stuff and left. Then afterwards, um, he came to, to my place with the ladies. The one she made a prophet, the one that becomes an angel, and the other lady. Though, so when she got them, when he got them, he told me he came to fetch the things. Then he made a prayer and told told me that he's releasing me from his soul, and that um, he spoke in tongues. 
those tongues that he, he spoke with. Then afterwards he said, I should bring the stuff that he gave me. So then I returned everything. After returning everything, then he said to, to the ladies and say, I'm giving you 10 minutes. Then they left. Then that was it. Yo, I felt um, my money, like there was certain amount, like I was given money to go back to school, you know but I used it for the ministry and he wanted a car, we bought him a car, and a nice car, like <laughs> we're not even driving. And the other lady, she sold her car so that we can be able to do a, like a top up so that we can get him that car that he wants. Yeah, every, maybe every six months or so, he will want a new phone, like two phones and smartphones, you know, he tell us that no, I no longer want that one. Sometimes he'll just give that one away and tells us that he wants that. Then sometimes he will be telling us that um, I want um, I want fifteen thousand or I want twenty thousand. I need to go see another man of God. We have to make sure that we take out that money to such an extent. Sometimes we just pay when our grocery monies. We we'll put it together and give it to him, so that he goes and do because he'll tell us it's our for our benefit. Then, um, to a certain extent, that uh, we bought um, a structure, so another lady took out a loan, and you know, people committed to be paying that loan back, but they never did. So it was also our burden to to pay that bond back until we finish it. And I remember the other phones that we were done, like paying them. Then he tells us that no, I want an upgrade so don't cancel the contract i'm renewing it so and he would demand it you know so in a way we were giving him there's a life that he desired and he will not like push himself to get that life tina as his children we have to give him that life that he wants because he prays for us he doesn't sleep he prays for us you know doesn't spend time with his family spends time with us so yeah in a way we have to take care of him the funny part is even after he chased me he will still send me threatening messages because i remember he called me i was shocked which why is he calling me and asked me because i was supposed to go for an operation and he asked me when am i going to an operation and i'm like uh because he called actually he called my my sister and spoke with my mom afterwards he told my mom that um he had me in the spirit you know then my mom comes and tells me i'm like hi then i said oh okay then uh -uh, i never called him he called me then i blocked him when he was releasing me he told me that if i don't go to church i will die you know so afterwards i found a ministry and i yeah i received my deliverance I was delivered. How and did you find this ministry? Because now you've been to a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been... <laughs> you. Yeah. Ne. Um, yeah, I knew the men and women of God for, yeah, for some years. Because we met through, like, um, a woman of God is running a mentorship called Vicious Woman. So I was being chased. I, I came to, to the church because I felt that it's the only place that I could feel safe. Then I received my deliverance and I was shocked, you know, because I've never manifested in my life. Because I will always see it from other people, but I never got to experience it. Like, I, I was, yeah, I was thankful at the same time because I felt that I didn't have a life anymore. Because whatever I had, I sold to that man, like that man took it, but by God's grace, he gave me another chance to live. You know? If you go into the presence of God, God doesn't come and go. He, he's always present, you know? All you have to do is to, is to make your spirit to be aware. Sometimes we feel the power of God differently. Someone might shake, someone might cry, but always the Holy Spirit in you will just confirm, you know, would, yeah, this is what happens. But what I've come to notice is how these men of God are doing. 
the force, like, yeah, the force man of God, how they're doing it, they're forcing it into you, you know. You, to such an extent, you feel witty. For you to feel the power of God, you have to fall. No, you don't have to fall. And even sometimes when they pray for you, you will feel that this person, he wants me to fall, you know. Pella, if you are in the presence, automatically I can fall without even the man of God touching me. Because the presence is present. So, so that's, that's how I think you, you, will, you will see it because they will always force it into you. From that other side, it was different because it was always about men, 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 men. But now it's all about the kingdom of God, you know. And how do we seek it? Because I mean, I felt with it, that side, we didn't seek it. We were not taught faith. I didn't know I have to, to, to speak the word. I knew that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word, but I didn't know that I actually have to speak the word. We get given the word of God, you know, and I came to understand that the word, it's everything you need. It's prophecy, it's that financial breakthrough, like it's that, um, that manual that you need in order for you to manifest the, the kingdom of God. I was taught how to worship God, you know. It's not like something that the Holy Spirit led me into it, you know, because of how how I would be told, you need to sing this song. This is how you need to sing it, you know. And there are times whereby certain songs, they minister to us differently and in different seasons. It can be an old song that was sang, Klamit Dala, but it comes and ministers different to you, but Lapan, I was told, Wuti, this is how you worship God. And I believe, Wuti, worship is not something that you can be taught. You know, no one can teach you how to worship God. Like, <laughs> it has to be that encounter, Liena. And yeah, so, yeah. I want to manifest the kingdom, the ministry, I'm feeling you on the end. I don't want to be dependent on my own abilities, so Wuti. I have a voice. I can have a voice, but maybe the voice in Abine anointing, then in I cause any impact, then I'll just be singing and say, Oh, that lady, your voice is high. But it, it needs to minister to someone. I was asking God, like, so, okay, Lord, I'm doing this show. This is a great idea. Like, it's going to help someone who might be in a similar situation or who believes that they're called, but they don't know how to do it the way God would like them to do it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, God has been talking to me a lot about, like, the end time harvest and, like, how, you know, Jesus is obviously coming soon and he wants us to obviously manifest our gifts mm -hmm. within the kingdom, being righteous still and all that stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. My purpose is to ignite the world to live their God-given purpose. Mm -hmm. And so I was just asking God, like, okay, we're going to do these interviews with these people, they're going to tell their story and then what, you know. And so as I'm standing there with the camera, I was like, no, you must now ignite her <laughs> to live her purpose. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Lord, how's that gonna happen? <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna pray with you before you sing. I'm, I'm obviously, you are already anointed. Like, you know that. Um, but you know something, I believe the kingdom of God works in this way so that we stay humble. Mm -hmm. yeah, people God will allow us to associate with mm -hmm. and our friction with them. Mm -hmm. will break something that's mm -hmm. already there and mm -hmm. we don't give each other mm -hmm. stuff god no. gives us yes. i'm gonna pray yes. with you <laughs> okay <laughs> just ignite you to live your god-given purpose I, it's already there mm -hmm. I, I, ignite is like putting a fire mm -hmm. on a substance that can catch it mm -hmm. so you are yes. a substance that can catch, catch it, it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you sing for us uh, and yeah, i believe i have a word of knowledge for you is that I believe that like your, your singing will heal people. Mm. Uh, I believe that you know that um, worship is a delicate ministry, and that's why the Lord allows you to go through all the things that you mm -hmm. went through. Because um, the worship, uh, remember Lucifer was the prince of worship, mm -hmm. and you know uh, when I read in the book of Isaiah, it says just where he passed by, mm. worship was ignited. Mm. And so imagine, that's why you mm -hmm. had to go through mm -hmm. all the nonsense you <laughs> had to go through. Because someone is fighting, the mm -hmm. enemy is fighting, mm -hmm. that you in the last days 
Mm-hmm. Wherever you go, that's the message of the kingdom, is that the kingdom of God is not here, there, wherever, mm-hmm. or in one man. It's mm-hmm. inside of you. Mm-hmm. And now wherever you go, Connie, because you carry the presence of God, the closeness of your relationship with God, wherever you are, you will spark the presence of God to Amen. be ignited in that place. Amen. And even you living here, mm-hmm. it is an opportunity for you to invoke the presence of God mm-hmm. in this place. As you wake up in the morning and worship, you are going to invoke the presence of God Amen. in the entire atmosphere. That's mm-hmm. the gospel of the kingdom, that the kingdom of God is everywhere we take it. Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to pray for you mm-hmm. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, it's something that's already inside of you. You have been created for it. Connie, you are created for worship. You are created for worship. And you know what the word of God says? It says the enemy comes to steal Mm -hmm. and to kill and to destroy. But it says that Christ comes, that he may Mm -hmm. give us what he has already put in us and have us have life in abundance. Mm -hmm. And as I'm going to pray right now, I'm saying, Lord Jesus, ignite again. Mm -hmm. Father God, reignite what you had put Mm -hmm. in her in the beginning. No man can give you your gift. The word of God says the Mm -hmm. gift is without repentance. Mm -hmm. You were born with the gift. Mm -hmm. When everything started, in the foundation of the earth you were found in Christ Jesus you were in him from the foundation of the earth you were chosen for such a time as this that you will invoke the presence of God as a young person you will invoke the presence of God that when you open your mouth to speak and to praise and to worship him that his presence will heal the sick that it will bring hope to the people who have lost hope therefore right now in the name of Jesus the name that is above every name Lord I exalt you above everything right now Lord Father in the mighty name of Jesus that Lord let no man let no flesh rest in your presence my God it says in your word that it is not my might but it is by your spirit Lord we exalt you above everything God you are not a man that you should lie my Father you said in the beginning my God that you will create me my Father a human being my Father that in them you will look in yourself and you will bring out my God what will reflect heaven on earth my Father right now Lord Jesus I the Holy Ghost, the governor of the kingdom, my God. That it is not a man that I know is man, my father. It is the spirit of the living God. And the spirit of the living God will teach us in all things. I pray right now for Connie Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever has been stolen in her gift may it be replenished, my father. I pray for that in the mighty name of Jesus. I ignite her to live her God-given purpose. Oh my God, I pull her out, Lord Jesus, into the end time, my God, where she will manifest, my God, the gift of worship, my father, that will bring the presence of God like no other. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Whatever the words spoken, my father, that wanted to stop her, my God, from manifesting what you had called her to be. It is her time, my God. It is her time, my God. You will call her into a secret place like the dear pens for the water brooks. So her soul, my father. So her soul thirsts for you, my God. And Lord Jesus, I thank you. You will call her into a place where she will drink from you, my God. She will drink from you, my God. And you will begin, my father, to have her close to you, my God. Oh, the Lord will make your heart straight. Oh, the Lord will realign you to your destiny. I am you to live your God given purpose by the name and the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He will be exalted in you. He will be exalted in you. For the word of God says, and our true lives are hidden in Christ Jesus. Your life will be revealed in Him, and He will be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. You are faithful, my God. You are faithful, my God. Oh, yes, my God. You will, Lord Jesus Christ, restore everything that the enemy has stolen. You will rebuild what was broken in her. Thank you, Lord. You will realign your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. You will remove, my father, the shame. You will remove the veil of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. She will be your bride, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you will teach her lips again. You will teach her lips again. To usher the presence of the Almighty God. The presence of the Almighty God. You are a God. You are a God. Not that you should lie. You are not a man that you should lie. Ah, you are not a man that you should lie. You are not a man that you should turn back from you. Master, master. Master, my master. 
Mostra a massa! Vera Moshika la passia! 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 Vera Moshika la passia!